Hey everyone, it's Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South. And today I'm going to be creating a wreath um, project for you guys. This is going to be a cotton wreath. Um, this will also be a product review because, of course, if we're creating wreaths and other things and other DIYs, we need a glue gun. So, um, Aiden Wong, he's a seller on Amazon. He reached out to me and asked me if I would do a product review of his Munvik hot glue gun. Now, this is a full-size hot glue gun and I will be unboxing it on camera and I will also be trying it out and then I will be providing my honest review to you guys. I will not um, encourage you guys to buy anything that I would not purchase or a product that I don't feel was efficient for use. So before I unbox the high glue gun and we take a look at that i'm going to show you guys the items that i'll be using for my uh my wreath the very first thing that you guys will need are some jumbo cotton balls i purchased mine at family dollar but you can purchase them at walmart or anywhere else you will also need two wreath forms these are just the bamboo wreath forms at Dollar Tree. I wanted the grapevine wreath forms, but my mama went to the store for me and picked these up. And these are the ones that she purchased. So this is what I'm going to use. But you can use the grapevine wreath forms as well. And I also picked up a package of this potpourri from Dollar Tree. Now, this is just a basic vanilla scent, but I didn't purchase it for scent. I purchased it because of the it's brown in color. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be creating cotton. Now, you guys know that I live down south, and I just get it out the field, and it's free. But for those of you who do not have access to cotton free of charge, um like i do then you can make your own and it will be cheaper than the cotton that you'll be you'll buy at hobby lobby or kirkland's or any other boutique store so before i get into that to show you how to do that let's take a look at this glue gun now upon opening the box it is packaged pretty nicely you can see the high glue gun. It's a large size glue gun. And then this, this glue gun is priced at $26.99. But there is a $4 coupon that is available. So it will make it $22.99 if you decide to purchase it. And I will link this product in the description box. And it is available at Amazon.com. Um... This is the power cord that you can attach to the glue gun at the back. As you can see, this is where you can attach the power cord and you, um, you can charge it up. And then once you charge it up, it'll be available for use cordless. And that's always a plus when we're doing DIY projects. We don't want to have to sit right by the outlet, you know, if we don't have to. So this uh, glue gun has the option of charging it and then using it for a while without um, having to be close to an outlet. And the longer uh, you charge it, the longer the, that it's available for use without it. It also came with... This whole package of hot glue guns, that's a plus because the majority of the time when we purchase hot glue guns, it doesn't come with this. So I feel like this is pretty uh, cost efficient too. And then it also came with a card on how to use it. And of course it says insert 
power cord into wall socket and insert glue stick in, into gun. It has two power settings uh, for the 80 watts. The indicator light will be red. And then for the 120 watts, the indicator light will be yellow. And then as you can see, the two levels here for the 80 watt and for the 120 watt setting there. So without further ado, we're going to plug this glue gun in and we're going to try it out. Okay guys, so I went on and plugged it up and it's charging and I'm going to put it on the high setting, the 120 watt setting. Now when I inserted the high glue, the high glue stick in, it inserted uh, pretty smoothly. And as you can see, because I put it on the 120 watt setting, it the, uh, the light is orange. Well, I guess it's yellow, but it looks orange to me, but it's yellow for that setting. It would have been red if I used the 80 watt setting. Okay, guys, so I have it um, plugged up and it's charged. I think I'm just going to leave the cord on um, this since I'm kind of sitting right over here by the extension cord anyway. But here is what I'm going to do. I have the cotton pieces and then I also have filtered through my potpourri bag and I've selected the pieces of potpourri that were that would remind you of the uh, the bottom portion of the cotton like these pieces here you're going to select the ones and you're going to take your cotton your piece of cotton sometimes i kind of puff mine out a little bit to kind of make it thicker and then i'm going to take one of the pieces of the potpourri and I'm going to place a little glue. Y'all, and this glue gun heats up pretty quickly. Look at how it's coming out. So you really have to be careful, it's steaming. I probably should have gotten at my table because I don't want to uh, burn my hand, but when I tell you it's heated good, it is. So you notice I'm making my cotton ball look like a real piece of cotton. And I made um, a wreath several years ago, but I ended up giving one of them away. But I am going to show you my home sign that I have on the uh, wall in here in my den. And it's faux cotton that I made with Dollar Tree potpourri. And as you can see, it looks just like a piece of cotton that you would purchase or get out of the field. And if you want to put multiple pieces together and make your cotton uh, pieces larger, you can do that as well. But because the Dollar Tree form, a uh, wreath form is smaller, I'm only going to be using individual pieces. And then once I get through with my pieces, then I will take all of them and place them on the wreath. Now, I'm not going to uh, make all the pieces on camera, but I will make a couple. And then I will show you guys the finished product. And I will also show it to you on my shutters, which is where I'm going to put it. So here is the wreath. I'm going to go ahead on and place one of my... Uh, cotton pieces on the wreath and this glue gun is working great look at it and I think I'm going to add another piece of potpourri to the front of that piece of cotton So, 
there is our first piece. So I'm going to go ahead and make some pieces. Some pieces. guys this is the finished product i did not want these to be too full because as i said before i wanted something simple because i already have quite a bit of decor going on at the moment stay tuned to see my other home sign that i made with the diy cotton so stay tuned to see that footage too and guys i also went ahead and added footage from a, another wreath that I just created for my kitchen using the Munvik hot glue gun. So stay tuned to see that next. And guys, I want to recommend that if you're looking for a hot glue gun, please consider the Munvik glue gun. I was not disappointed. It works well. Matter of fact, you have to be careful because it does heat pretty good. It comes with a finger protective grips and it also came with extra high glue sticks and then it uh, is cordless you have a cordless option if you you don't want to sit by an outlet okay this is an old wreath form that i already had and i ended up pulling all the old pumpkins and um different florals out of it so that i could reuse it and come up with something new i'm uh going to be using some pumpkins that i got at walmart they come in the bag of i think two dollars and 94 cents and then i'm also going to be using this bow and i got that bow off of the autumn spice little wooden sign at dollar general i liked it better without the bow so i decided to use the bow on this project Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. I think it looks good with the rest of the decoration. And, guys, do we have some dishes in the sink here?
Okay, guys, this concludes my video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Crafty Girl Down South. If you're not already a current subscriber, please give this video a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And please head on over to Amazon and check out the Munvik Hot Glue Gun. I feel like it's a great item at a great price. And I feel like it is definitely going to do the job for any crafts that you have planned for now as well as the rest of the holiday season. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.